Hello and uh, welcome to this next video on uh, mobile repairing. We have been uh, learning about uh, different components which are placed on a uh, mobile PCB. We tried understanding some of these components in the earlier videos. Particularly we spoke about resistor, capacitor, transistors um, and coil as well as the IC in the previous videos. In this video, we will try understanding some of the critical components that are placed in the network section of a mobile PCB. A network section is the primary way through which the mobile connects to the telephone network or the mobile or cellular network. And therefore, it is important for us to understand what are some of the components which are placed in the network section of a mobile phone PCB. You were introduced to some of these components in the video where we spoke about the circuit diagram of a mobile PCB. And you may be aware of their names through that video. We will now try and go a little deeper to understand what their functions are and how they are placed in the mobile PCB. The first component that we will be looking at is called the PFO. A PFO basically stands for Power Frequency Oscillator. Essentially, the PFO's job is to amplify the network signals that are received through the network. Now, let us see how we can identify a PFO. Now, in order to identify the PFO, you will have to look into the network section of the mobile phone PCB. In this mobile, as you can see, the network section is on top and this black color component that you see here is the PFO. The PFO is usually quite large and is clearly identifiable on any PCB. The second PCB also you will be able to very clearly see where the PFO is placed. Now on first look, the PFO typically looks like any other IC or chip component placed in a mobile phone. Now in order to understand how the PFO is placed on the mobile phone, you can try and look at uh, the back side of the PFO to understand how they are soldered on to the mobile PCB. So, when you look at the PFO's position or placement, let us try and uh, get a closer look at the placement of uh, mobile uh, the PFO. You see that the placement is very distinct and you will see these rows and columns which is very unlike any of the ICs. ICs typically either have leads on the sides or have balls at the bottom. Whereas, the PFO has these rows and columns which act as the connecting link for the PFO to the printed circuit board. Such tracks are also visible on the back side of the PFO. So, using that you will be able to clearly identify a PFO if a PFO is missing or if you remove it from the PCB. But in order to identify a PFO directly without removal, you will need to study the circuit diagram of a mobile phone very closely. The circuit diagram will be able to exactly tell you where the PFO is placed and how it is connected onto the circuit in the PCB. And that is why we keep stressing on the point that you must ensure that you look at the circuit diagram of the respective mobile phone PCB before you commence any repairing work on any of the PCBs. Again, the sizes of PFO will be very different depending on the mobile phone size. So, it is uh, sometimes uh, could be confusing if you do not look at the circuit diagram. So, look at the circuit diagram, understand where the PFO is and you will be able to trace and track where this particular component is placed on the mobile phone PCB. Typically, if your PFO is at uh, fault, you may have the following problems. Number one, there may be no network on the mobile phone. Number two, the network could be erratic. You might probably get high signals sometimes and sometimes zero signal also. This could also be a result of a fault in the PFO. Another problem could be a dead set problem. Dead set problem uh, can happen because uh, there could be a short circuit in the network that connects to the PFO. And if there is a short circuit, the network uh, may not function and the set can even be a dead set, uh, dead handset. So, these are three issues that could be detected if there is a fault in the PFO. Number one, no network. Number two, erratic network signals or number three, the entire mobile set could be dead and that could be due to a short circuit in the PFO or in the circuit on the 
mobile device connecting the PFO to the rest of the circuit on the PCB. Moving on, let's try and look at the next component which is called an antenna socket. As you can see, this is a socket that's placed on the uh, mobile device. Antenna socket is a very critical element for ensuring that the network works very well. It is able to link up to the signals very well and can connect us to the network really easily. The third aspect which is related to the network section is called the antenna tip which is right above the antenna socket. Antenna tip is what collects the signals, connects it to the antenna socket which then connects it to the network section to the PFO and other components there. So an antenna tip is usually connected to an external antenna tip which we will see in a few minutes from now and that is how the signals are transmitted from the air into the respective network components on the mobile phone PCB. Let's move on to one more part which is a very also a very critical component in the entire network which is directly connecting to the network or which takes in the signals from the air is called the antenna background or the external antenna tip. Uh, this is the external antenna tip or the antenna background as we see. This is basically a small panel which has two tips on top and this links to the antenna tip placed on the mobile phone PCB. So this particular part is what tracks the network or connects the mobile phone effectively to the mobile phone network. And this is commonly visible in all mobile phones in different forms. As you can see, those two tips are very clearly visible and will be usually available on the front panel of the device or the internal panel of the device. So this external tip will touch the antenna tip on the PCB and that's how the network is transmitted from outside to the internal parts or components of the PCB. As you can see, is very clearly a uh, a panel, a metal panel which is placed inside and helps us uh, connect the network signals to the PCB of the mobile phone. So these are some of the essential uh, parts of the network section. There are a few more parts about which we will learn uh, in the next video. Just to summarize quickly, we talked about uh, PFO which is a power frequency oscillator which essentially also acts as an amplifier of the network signals. There is an antenna socket which uh, also works as connecting the network signals as a component that connects the network signals onto the PFO. Sometimes the socket can also be used to extend or add an external antenna onto the mobile phone. And sometimes there are also antenna switches which are used. For example, in this PCB, the antenna switch was placed and we've removed this antenna switch. Uh, but nowadays, modern mobile phones don't have any antenna switch because that's inbuilt into the PFO. So we looked at the PFO, we looked at antenna socket, antenna tips, and the antenna background or the external antenna tip that connects the network to the internal PCB. Going forward, we will try and understand a few more components which are placed in the network section of the mobile phone. Thank you very much.